This video is about making this ram and ramen scene in PowerPoints. For this, you need plenty of RAM and Raven, so we need to go to the browser. Open your favorite browser and search for RAM PNG. It may appear as RAM R A M because they spell the same, so we are adding 3 in the front and we will search for the image of RAM with bow and arrow. This looks fine to me, but I will choose some other form like uh, the RAM in action form. Yeah, this is also cool. I think we should go with this one for this trial. Let's copy it and make a new slide. Change the background of the slide for that. Right click on the slide and choose the format background and choose the color of the background. This is just a little more darker, we will go for lighter one. Yeah, that's fine. Control V for best. This is not a good image, so we will search for another one. Yeah, this seems to be perfect. Let's copy this and go and click Control V. Double click on it and remove the background. Choose the areas that are to be included in the background and click on plus mark area to keep and keep all those areas that are being neglected by this automatic remove background program. And we may need to remove some of the background so we will click on mark area to remove and remove the backgrounds that are not required like these white parts. And we will zoom in. For zooming in, you can use your fingers in the mouse pad. Remove all the background carefully and then you can press outside or press keep changes make the size smaller and place it in the appropriate area now we need the image of Raven This first image looks like a good one, so let's copy this and Alt Tab and we go to our slides and Control V. Drag it to the place, but this doesn't seem like a good image. So, because of this, we are using another image. This looks like a perfect berry and it's in PNG form. So we're right clicking and copying it and Alt tap on keyboard and Ctrl V on the slides and place the body in the areas where we want it to be placed. Now we need some head. This is a very small size image. I think this image is of bigger size than the previous one so we will use this one yeah previously we had used the same image copy the image and paste it drag in the areas where we want to keep it uh, we don't want that blue areas of the neck so we are cropping that part And it's done. Click on outside after cropping those areas that we don't want. And what we need to do now is we need only one head out of those 10 heads. 
So double click on it, click on remove background and like previous, this place that rectangular box in the areas where you want to keep your image and this automatically selects the first head only but we need the neck as well so click on mark keep areas and click on the neck area and click outside this is our head let's keep it in its own place yeah perfect now we may need to crop it i think so crop right click and crop and crop to the square let's go control d and control d twice now you have the four heads of raven that are placed there so go to your home and arrange and select some pen and these four picture tins then are the single head image and this last one is the 10 head image so we will write 10 head in front of that picture 10 and after, uh, before the picture 8 we will write body because that's the picture of body and this last one is the picture of ram so ram now we're done by naming all the stops and i am placing ram in such a way that his arrow seem to be pointing at the neck of raven Rotate the image uh, such that it appears as if it's just hitting the head area. Yeah, this position seems like it's trying to hit the head area only. Now we are going to add animation. So close that from add save part and add animation. For RAM, animate uh choose the animation fly in and we won't want that fly in from different directions we will choose the fly in from different directions so that we can apply the fly in one for the appropriate one try something try everything if you are a beginner because it's gonna teach you more. This looks fine to me. I had also increased the duration of flying. Uh, we need to animate the head area now. What we want is the head should fly out while exiting. But we don't need it to fly out down we don't need it to fly in that left area as well we need it to fly in the right area first one is animation is added picture 10 second picture 10 animation is also needed to be added we can also use the paint animator animation uh, animation painter for this part for easier for making it easier but I'm trying to choose I'm choosing to do it manually do this for all four pictures of single heads which are named picture 10 in the selection pen And for the 10 hits, we will use the speed, not the white part. We will use speed and it should be selected vertical out. Because we want the head to appear from middle to what's outside, not 
from outside Stumidi. So, arrange that as well. And what we are doing here is we are giving the animation, adding the animation. For this one, we have already have one appear animation for RAM. So we are adding the animation by clicking on clicking on add animation. You can try different animation and see what what result does it give. If it's if it's not satisfactory, try to use another one. We are using the impasses animation here for um, RAM, and we are placing it before. Or, uh, before that head is flying out before every head flying out we need that pulse animation in drum so we are adding pulse animation each and every time add the pulse animation and place it above the head animation and change the head animation to start after previous This is our last pulse animation for RAM. And change the head animation to after previous. And this 18 head appearance animation after that last head is fly, has fly out. Let's see what we have done till now. Yeah, it's working, but what we need to do is we need the head to appear to exit and also we need to position this raven in a specific area and we may need to reduce the size of raven as well because it's like it's feeling like he is filling the whole slide This seems like he, his head is not, he's not being beheaded. Seems like he, his head was a mask and it's flying out. But we need something that looks like his head is beheaded and it appears again. So after adjusting all the sizes here, we will go to arrange that or correct that head part so we will go to that selection thing again and we will add, add animation of appear to every picture of single head to the fourth picture as well uh, I don't think we need to add in the first one that's good we have added that in the first one and one no. yeah we have added that in the second one we will drag it up and We'll drag it a little up. What? We may want it to appear. We may want it to appear after we click. Um, but I don't think that will work. So we will want it to appear after that it is flown, and we need to have little gap there too in order to see it was he was beheaded. Do the same for all those three pictures of single head appearance animation. Drag them up before their exit because it should appear first and then it should exit.
we still have one image that's still there so we are not seeing that effect so we need this last two pictures I think the last two pictures are the same so we are deleting the one and we will keep this last one above that ra RAM animation and we will change that to after previous and drag it and delay it yeah this low this looks nice yes we're all done thank you so much for being till here and trying this out